once you understand that an application lives in the Facebook canvas and how Facebook stores your user data through the social graph, it's time to learn about the APIs Facebook provides for creating your apps. So what is an API? An API is an application programmer's interface. It's a way for developers to access content on certain websites. APIs allow you to have access to information about user feeds, user data, and other types of information from another company. All the major players like Google, Facebook, and Twitter have APIs for working with their content. Why? Because APIs allow companies to let others extend the functionality of a website beyond what the original developers thought possible. Part of the rise and popularity of Facebook is due to social games like Farmville and Mafia Wars, which were made possible through their APIs. Facebook provides three different ways for developers to interact with the social graph. The website API lets you access open graph data, a term used for certain social graph information you can put on your websites. The mobile API lets you integrate Facebook into mobile device applications running on platforms like iPhone and Android operating systems. Apps on Facebook, the API we'll be exploring in this course, lets you build apps that show up as pages within Facebook. Remember that pages live on a separate server, but show up in the Facebook canvas. So when you develop apps on Facebook, Facebook lets you interface with the social graph through something called an SDK, or a software development kit. An SDK is the software that Facebook engineers have developed and make available to users. Facebook provides two flavors of the SDK for app development, one in PHP and another in JavaScript. In this course, I'm going to show you how to work with the JavaScript SDK. Most of the time, you'll be able to do the same types of things using different SDKs, but there are some instances that require you to use one or the other. So remember that when we work with Facebook apps, we're going to need to work with two things. First, we'll need to work with the app container on Facebook. This is the canvas on Facebook's app page. The canvas is an iframe that is a window to your application. The iframe points to a website where you code the app using one of the SDKs. The series of pages you create on your website is nothing more than regular HTML with hooks into Facebook data using commands that we'll learn about in this course. So now that you have a handle on the terminology, you're ready to start working with the SDKs to create the apps. The process works like this. First, we'll create the container for our app on Facebook. Then we'll create the page on our server. Unless you want an app that's just plain HTML, you want to take advantage and learn about the features and the social data that the Facebook APIs provide.